Do parrotlets make good pets? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Blues Bond, and in this video, I've got Anya with me, and um, she's awesome. <laughs> Anya is, of course, a parrotlet, and she's a girl. Um, and the thing, the reason why I think parrotlets make awesome pets is they are relatively really easy to take care of compared to a, um, compared to a lot of other birds or animals. Uh, but now she's flown off. They are independent, as you can see. And if you have a house that's parrot safe, it's really cool to let your parrot let fly around. And I have, I have people that I know who do that and, you know, they make little perches like, okay, as I was saying, um, <laughs> there's Anya's brother, Aragon. Um, they're relatively so easy to take care of because they <clears throat> don't make a big mess since they're so small. And down below is Carlos on the left of the screen. Um, they're easy and friendly, and the more time you spend with any parrot, you want to mill it. You want to mill it? The more time you spend with any parrot, the more friendly they get, and the more they bond with you. I'm a believer in having at least two, obviously, and I think two is a good magical number because they bond really well. I'm going to give you the millet. Okay. Uh... They're just easy. With these guys, they have pellets in their cage, which are <laughs> right along the wall there. You can see the tan. It's a little blurry. And they have seeds. They get right there, their parakeet mix. So it doesn't have sunflower seeds. And they, like I said, they just don't make a very big mess. In the morning, they get fresh veggies, which includes some beta carotene, usually carrots and sweet potato. These little guys love leafy greens, so I also give them mixed greens. And I usually give them quinoa, because that's super good for them. And then depending, they might have a few other things. But that's the base that I do. And they're just, you can see they're curious, they're playful, they're not terribly loud. Um, they're friendly, they are curious about us. I, I really, I adore parrotlets, I have a few, and I love taking care of them, I love being around them. They have a, a really fun energy to them. People say that they are the pocket parrot, and I met someone who said that he practically got on an airplane with his parrotlet in his pocket, which I thought was amazing. And look, I'm going to show you Buttercup. I'm not sure. She might be resting. She likes that coconut. It's a little blurry, but there's Buttercup. There we go. There's Buttercup in for coconut. How sweet is that? I mean, they're cute. They're adorable. Here's their little hay toy. It had, it's a cylinder, and it had two little windows. You could see the two windows down below, but you could see they have eaten away at this window. And so that's great. They they like to play with it. They like to bite away at it. They love cardboard. She's biting away at the cardboard. Yes, they make fabulous, fabulous pets, especially if you're like in an apartment and you need them to be quiet or if you don't have a lot of space. Since they are so small, at 30 grams, there's my finger, I see, I see. You could see she's smaller, well, you could see she's about the length of my finger. So um, that makes them really easy to have, to keep, to be with, they're just sweet. And I always recommend two, because if you don't have time, then they keep each other company, and if you do have time, you have twice the fun and twice the bonding with two. Right, Anya? I love her. She's always looking to me, and I don't spend a lot of time with them because I have some other big birds, but um, she's always looking for me, and she's at that nibbling stage, as you can see. Come here, sweetie. Um, so that's 
That's my blue pied Anya. Um, and she's pied because she has white. You can see the white on her head. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you catch the next video on Parrot Let's, one of my very favorite parrots. Catch you next time.